It's for some everybody. I'm Ricardo Light. When this one goes out to our colleague down to Providence, Opal Roach, who played hooky today. Nah, she's celebrating. Congratulations, girl. Well, the Bahamas Football Association has started the process of selecting this under-17 girls team that's going to compete in the a qualifier for the Confederation of North, Central, and Caribbean Association Football World Cup. They held some tryouts here at the Freewood Rugby Club, and I'm Megan Shepard. No, she wasn't there. Guess who was there? Kimberly Mullings. Ugh. Kevin Davies is the head coach of the under-17 girls national soccer team. He and his assistant, Ricky Abain, were excited to return to Grand Bahama Island to recruit players. Last year on my under-15 team, 10 of the 18 girls were actually from Freeport. So I was expecting great things. The numbers are a little disappointing to me. Um, some of the girls that were on the team last year are actually in Nassau now, so I've seen them already. Um, but I would have liked to see see all of them. Coach Davey says many opportunities are available to the girls. We're actually preparing to go to Puerto Rico uh, probably between the 21st and the 28th of August to play in a under 17 girls World Cup CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers. So right now that's the opportunity that's directly in front of them. However, there are always opportunities as I always tell the girls always step on the field as if somebody's watching you and you never know what can happen from there. He adds that while it is hard for him to measure the Bahamas' girls team against the others, he knows for sure that they have to bring their A game this year. I know that Puerto Rico has a fairly strong team, uh, Dominican Republic will probably have a very strong team, and Anguilla is the other team in our group. I'm not really sure what, what they're all about, but based on what we had last year and some of the, the things that I've seen already, uh, I think we can have a much stronger team this year than we did last year. Kimberly Mullings, Zednas Toll Sports. Thanks very much, Kim. Well, the Grandma Amateur Softball Association got in some slow pitch games in the D's. Drivers over the Grandma Port Authority regulators are 18 to 17 in co ed play. Dwight Hill got the win, and Stefano Bevins the loss. Immigration Enforcers over Pelican Bay Barracudas are 12 9. Jamal, Jermaine Scavala, he got the win, and the loss goes to Brian Davis. The Coopers Destroyers over Pats Uniform Reds are 13 2 4. Marvin Rover the distance, and the loss goes to my good friend Michael Sweeney. Now, the GBSA is also holding its election at the hour, folks, at the Grandma Sports Complex. Now, they had a steering committee. Uh, led by Helena Cooper, Michael Sweeting, Cecil Williams Jr., as well as Gwen Simon and Pender, Martha Edgecombe, and Yvonne Lockhart. They try to keep the league together until they elect a president and executive committee. Tonight, they better elect one by hook or crook, or the GBSA is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now, the Grand Bahama Regatta Committee is celebrating another year of sailing. July 28th through the 30th will be at uh, the Taino Beach. And also the honoree this year is going to be Kennard Bethel, long-serving activity member. And he said uh, it's going to be a unique history as far as regatta. He's encouraging all you guys to come out and learn more about why sailing is, should be, our national sport. When I worked incessantly in the committee, I found that at one time we had 17 members only three were Grand Bahamians. Everybody else was from Ragged Island, Andros, Exuma, Cat Island, Long Island. Um, um, but now I see the Grand Bahamians have the majority on the committee. And I hope that is a sign that perhaps now the Grand Bahamians have developed a sense of appreciation for where we came from. McPhee pointed to the Grand Bahama Games. Uh, that was in uh, after 92 elections as the springboard to the regatta here on uh, the island. And that uh, is the chairperson, Shavita Campbell, says the goal is to preserve the culture, push and respect for those uh, where the honor is due. The main purpose, we realized that regatta would be able to bring people together. And so we started off with six boats. We invited six boats out of New Providence because Grand Bahama at that time had six constituencies and we identify each boat with a constituency and as a result once the boats came in during the race the people forgot about the election and they cheered for their boats. Grand Bahama, this is our time to truly get involved and learn about our culture learn about these things that we call to be our culture which is um, learn about your history and your heritage. Once you visit our Facebook page, you'll see a telephone number there. You can find us and make sure you can get in touch with someone from the committee if you're interested in vendorship. 
and also it's going to be a great sentiment. I got to also say a get well to my good friend uh, Cecil Jerry Lowe. He's not doing too well. I'll press with him tonight. Jerry, listen, man, we got to go to Grand Key to catch all them puppies on the dock, okay? That's a look at sports tonight.